quick uh, visual explainer of the stereo field and what effects EQing different frequencies have on the stereo placement of objects in the stereo field. So if we just take this point here as an example, uh, let's just say uh, you slipped on your EQ adjustment and you put way too much power on the right for this frequency and as you can see the center frequency has moved out through at least one sector and into the next but then if you look at mid right um and this may this may be a, like a linear kind of example and in real life it might be a bit more logarithmic or so you can see that the mid right hasn't gone past a full sector and the subdivisions are even smaller as closer you get to the edge of the frame because you can turn up anything as much as you like say in the right side but it won't go any further right because the source of the sound is um, hard fixed to where the speaker is so um, yeah so this will move that way if you turn down the left and it will move this way if you turn up the right but the balance of tone uh, is a function of the left plus the right that's another another story so the balance of the tone like oh if you turn up the right it well way too much right in the music right now if you if you turn down the left well then it, there won't be enough of that frequency in the music so it's kind of you're missing that frequency but you still got the incorrect center now what i was going on about in the the uh video about the mid right and mid left seeming wider um here if you just mid right mid right uh mid left you can see the lines now we have something going further out than those lines so the net result is all of the frequencies are now wider um, because there are some on that mid left line and there are some further right of the mid right line so you have that center space plus um, and it if you've got other frequencies going left, then it gets even, even wider. So when I was uh, assessing the tunes for stereo accuracy, and hence uh, measuring accuracy, if I was flipping between two of them and I was just getting this tiny little thing there, or a little, like I said, a little cowboy cowbell thing was going out there, then that left and right image picture seemed just a little bit fatter. And um, sometimes I think that's easier to see than your center like because most people just look at their centers and they do, all they see is this and if you're su switching between two tunes or you've done one tune and one thing changes you, you still have a fat middle and you can't really say well, which tune is better but if you just look at the outsides in mid left and mid right songs and then one's like this and one's like that well, let's just put a bit more in a bit more inaccuracy in it first starters so that oh, that that whole image seems a bit fatter uh, and you can say well the more correct one would be the narrower one and that's what i'm sort of going on about but yeah i was thinking about making a little 3d model with pieces of string and uh you know putting a marker on all those spots and getting pretty funky and stuff but i did this in a graphics program uh, in last time so hopefully that works it out for you so don't forget that the um the goal is to get everything bang in the middle like on that program peel where it kind of visualizes uh, things on that stage all right catch ya